What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. A big thank you for coming back and joining me on another episode of the Arsenal Save. So if you've been with us for the past couple of episodes, you would have seen that we are now in Season 3 and we have started to build our way towards the winter transfer window. So we have had the summer transfer window and the new players arrive. We have then showed you in the last episode how we have been performing to get to the 4th of January 2025. And today we are going to be breaking out into some match action yes we have got a crunch game against manchester city that will decide who stays above who in the premier league table if they win they can go above us if we win we will get close to liverpool and they will stay below us and we will open that gap just a little bit more so let's break into some uncharted territory in the save let's jump in to the starting 11 and show you who we are going to pick and the formation that we're going to play as we build up to the match day. Okay then, this is it, the starting 11 for the first match of the save. So let's break this down. We have got Ramsdale in goal. We have got Tierney as a left wing back. Uh, Schlotterback, Scalvini and Tomiyasu are going to be playing as our three centre backs. We have Andre Santos in the middle of the park with Saka wide right. Bellingham, Dabala and Gabriel Jesus are in the middle third of the pitch. And then Makoko is going to lead the line in attack. We've gone for an attacking lineup. We're going very attacking against the Manchester City team that will do likewise. In the last game we played against them, we narrowly lost 3 2. So hopefully we're going to turn that around as we are the home team. But you never know in this game what's going to happen. So let's stop the talking and let's let the match begin. Let's jump into the match action and show you what happens against Manchester City. Here we go then, this is the lineups and these are the teams that are going to be taking to the field. Obviously you can see Manchester City going in their 4-1-4-1 or is it a 4-1-2-3? However it looks, this is the lineups that are going to go out. So obviously as I've said, we've already read our lineup. It's Ramsdale, Tierney, Schlotterbeck, Scalvini, Tomiyasu, Andre Santos, Saka, Bellingham, Dybala, Jesus and Mukoko. They've gone for Edison. I think that says Rendell Correa, Ruben Diaz, Stones, Cancelo, Rodri, De Bruyne, Silva, Phil Foden, Serge Gnabry is a addition to their lineup, and then they have Erling Haaland up top. So let's get this game up and running and show you what is going to happen. So the game has kicked off and we are underway for the first match action of the save. It's going quite well to begin with. Eight minutes on the clock, we have a free kick. There is Schlotterbeck and there is Jude Bellingham to put the ball in the net. The problem here is he looked miles offside. But was the ball going in the net anyway? Could he have afforded to have just left it if this ball was going in? In fact, it says goal. In fact, he's not offside, is he? Because there's a defender right in front of the goalkeeper, which was one, one that I missed. So Dybala swings it in. Oh, it's for the initial free kick. So Schlotterbeck was not offside and Bellingham was not offside. So the goal stands and we take the lead early on against Manchester City. Jude Bellingham getting there with the header. So positive start for us. Manchester City having to grow into the game, it seems. We've had four shots, two on target. And it's a set piece that they're going to now try and score with. Ball goes in, comes out. Andre Santos heads it away. What can Makoko do on the turn? Thought he could have played it straight up the line there. Tommy Asu now picks the ball to Bellingham. He tries the ball to Dybala. He's in. He squares it to Jesus. It comes to nothing. Bellingham wins it back. And City get to clear it away. Tierney is going to head it back towards goal. Cancelo to Bernardo Silva. He's going to bring it forwards. He stops and turns back. Cancelo. They're going to build an attack here from defending. How crazy is this? They've got a man over. Foden exploits the gap. And there is the equaliser. So, yeah. Bukayo Saka needs to drop back when that gap opens up. And I think maybe it's a mistake for us to be ultra attacking against this Manchester City team. When we do have that gap on the right hand side. And I know that's my own choice to go and pick an, a, a, a tactic that is that attacking and it leaves the gap like it is but it's there for a reason because we want to overload on one side of the pitch 
City now have a throw in. The ball goes to De Bruyne. Andre Santos though cuts it out. Scalvini, why are we playing it back at the back? Please get it clear. Fortunately, he lumps it to Stones and he plays it forward to Bernardo Silva. He's going to go in down the right hand side. He's going to cross it in. We've got De Bruyne on the edge of the box. Rodri plays it back to De Bruyne. The ball is out wide. Erling Haaland is supposed to be a centre forward. He's chasing the ball on the left wing. He crosses it in. Gnabry brings it down. Cancelo gets a oh, shot that's blocked. It goes up in the air. And Serge Gnabry has got the simplest of headers to put it over the line. It's really lucky. When, when you see the goal back and you see how Cancelo has hit the ball. So Haaland with the cross. I mean, it probably could have been cut out in the first instance. Gnabry gets to lay it back, but Schlotterbeck blocks the ball, can't get it out of play. And Serge Gnabry just follows it in to head the ball over the line. And unfortunately for us, there's nothing you can do about that. I mean, we started off as the better team, and I did say City were growing into the game. And unfortunately for us, that is exactly what's happened, because they have gone and scored. Um, need a half-time whistle. There it is. Uh not going to make any changes at half time we have got a few players though that do look really tired we've got Schlotterbeck who's struggling Tierney struggling Saka and Bellingham so we're going to see if the half time team talks can G them up a bit I mean we leave that kind of stuff to the assistant managers obviously but it's City on the attack straight away Serge Gnabry's looking to get in down that left hand side Tierney plays it out wide Jesus keeps it in play plays it to Dybala who then gives the ball away needlessly to Gnabry. Rodri to Bernardo to De Bruyne. Schlotterbeck gets it away. And Saka can lead us on an attack, hopefully. Makoko gets wiped out, but Dybala is in. Can Dybala get the equaliser? Hit the post. Oh my gosh, that was a great chance for us to get on level terms. And he smashed the post from there. Let's just see what happens in this. I mean, I was going to leave it to the hour mark and then I changed my mind. I was going to go and do some substitutions, but Saka intercepts the ball. Dybala gets it stolen off of him. And now Bernardo Silva tries to play it away. Gnabry to Bernardo. To Stones. Back to Bernardo. It's stolen by Dybala. Please get the ball in the box. Makoko's there. Bubbles up in the air. And then there's an offside in there somewhere anyway. So it's time to make some substitutions, I think. Uh, Saliba's also tired, so Brian Oko is going to come on in place of Schlotterbeck just for fresh legs. Kieran Tierney also needs to come off if we have an option. What I'm going to actually do here is move Tomiyasu to left back, I think, and maybe bring on... No, in fact, I'm going to... Take, I'm going to bring Barco on, switch Barco back to left back and leave Tommy Asu where he is. And unfortunately, Jude Bellingham's race is run, I feel. He's running on fumes. Don't really want to put Patino on in this kind of game. So I'm going to bring on Sambi Laconga. And then J Gabriel Jesus looks tired, so I'm going to bring on Endrick also. A lot of changes in the 56th minute but we need a spark and we need a goal obviously just hitting the post that would have helped if we'd have been at 2-2 and could have made those changes but hopefully somebody is going to step up and be a bit of a hero for us here as Makoko gets the ball up top plays it to Saka what can he do with it he's cutting across the box is he going to shoot he is he puts the ball over the bar if anybody could just take a chance here we really, really would appreciate it because it would bring us back on terms. Now, obviously, as I said earlier on, we lost 3-2 to these in the other game that we played. Uh, we could do with nicking a point at least. John Stones is going to clear the ball away. It was nearly cut out in the midfield. It is cut out now by Saka. He turns towards goal, runs into the box, tries the chip, and Edison touches it over the bar. I wish he would have just done what he did against Tottenham where he just smashed it in at the near post. But he went for the cute chip. Dybala with the corner. Endrick gets the ball on the edge of the box. What can he do? The shot is deflected and it's wide or up and over for a corner. Can we get anything going from this corner? It's going to be an out swinger. Dybala puts it in. Nobody is there to meet it but sky blue shirts. And they live to see another day. Uh, 78 minutes on the clock. Kanji's got the ball now out on the wing. For a throw in. Serge Gnabry plays it back to him. 
Rodri plays it forwards. Haaland is in. And Erling Haaland misses. The robot is human. Or AI in Football Manager. You know what I mean. Wouldn't have backed him to be missing from there. He would have put your house on him scoring in that position. And yeah. Thankfully he didn't. But unfortunately for us, it's all in vain anyway. He could have scored. It would have made no difference because... We lost 2-1. We weren't blown away by them. And again, that means that in the two games that we've played, we've lost by a one-goal margin in both of those games, which is pretty encouraging. Let's head through the dressing room. Don't do team talks on the channel, so we just leave that. And this is how the Premier League will look. So as I said, Manchester City had the chance to jump above us, and they do exactly that. They go on to 47 points. We're on 46, Liverpool on 53 so it's back-to-back -back defeats in the Premier League, which is bad news for us. Everton with the 3-1, Man City with the 2-1. And we still have to play Man City twice in the next three games. Uh, let's look at that schedule then. So, as I said, yeah, we play Manchester City, Accrington Stanley, Manchester City. But the running to the Premier League and the Champions League has now begun. We will, when we come back, we will have gone to the Monaco game because, well, in fact, the Brentford game because the transfer window will shut here on that Monday so it's probably the 3rd of February something like that so in the next episode we're going to bring in some new faces at the club possibly I think there is around 30 million in the bank 38 million in the bank so if we need to bring some new faces in we can there is always that option so I hope you enjoyed the first match action of the series it didn't go the way that I had planned hopefully the next couple of games we will bounce back to form, stop that losing streak and we will start to pick it up for the running to both the Premier League season and the Champions League season. So in the next episode, as I said, we will be doing the January transfer window and then we will do the running to the Premier League and the Champions League in the episode after that. But for this one, I'm going to start to wrap it up. If you're still here and you're still watching, still listening, Firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you don't mind hitting the like and subscribe button to help the channel out, I really would appreciate that. But for this one, I'm going to wrap it up there. Come back on the next episode as we go into the January transfer window with Arsenal.